will count to twelve, and we will all keep still. For once on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second, and not move our arms so much. The poet, Pablo Neruda, in this stanza, asks us to count us to twelve. For that period, we will keep still, that is, quiet. What does twelve mean here? It's not mentioned here. Maybe it's the twelve months of a year. Or, the twelve hour signs of a clock. He asks us, to keep quiet, while you count to twelve. But why? We all are in hurry. Because of this, all the troubles occur. The poet asks us, to not to speak in any language, at least once. Why? Because, different languages sometimes become a reason, for violence. The poet urges us, to stop for a second, and not move our arms so much. He is trying to say, we should not move our arms, to harm others. It would be an exotic moment. Without rush, without engines. We would all be together, in a sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea, would not harm whales. And the man gathering salt, would look at his hurt hands. Pablo Neruda says, that when we all will keep still, it would be an exotic moment. Exotic means, fantastic or enticing. It would be a moment, without rush without engines. Engines? Means, there will be no noise of machines, engines, devices. We all would be together, in a sudden strangeness. Means, it will be a strange moment, exotic, surprising. The fishermen, will not harm whales. The poet asks us, to not harm whales, not harm animals. The man, who is gathering salt, will look at his hurt hands. We always are in hurry, to complete our need, and greed. We don't see what we've sacrificed for that. That's why, the man should see his hands, which are hurt by the salt. Those, who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory, with no survivors, would put on clean clothes, and walk about their brothers, in the shade, doing nothing. Those who prepare green wars, means, those who promote green wars, that is, warmongers. Why are the wars? Green? All wars are against the environment. Wars produce nothing other than deaths, and degradation of natural resources. Wars with gas, wars with fire, means, wars with poisonous gases, and fire weapons. Victory with no survivors. If the warmongers win the war, there will be no survivors to see their victory. Pablo says, those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, fire, with no survivors, should put on clean clothes, and walk with their brothers, in the shade, doing nothing. They should put clothes, that are not stained with warriors' blood, signs of war. They would walk with their enemies, who, in fact, are their brothers. They would walk together, under the tree shade, means, enjoying in the nature, and doing nothing. What I want, should not be confused, with total inactivity. Life is what it is about. I want no truck with death. If we were not so single-minded, about keeping lives moving, and for once, could do nothing. Perhaps a huge silence, might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death. The poet says that he doesn't want that when he is asking us to be quiet, he should think it as total inactivity. No, the poet asks us to be quiet, doing nothing. But this doesn't mean that it is total inactivity. Life is what it is about. He wants no truck with death. What is a truck? It's a heavy vehicle, used to transport heavy goods. Are you a fool? What has this poem got to do with trucks? Actually, in Old English, truck means, to exchange, or to bargain. The poet says, he wants no truck with death. Means, he wants no exchange with death. He doesn't want, that people kill people, for territory, for money. He says, we should not be so single-minded, as we just keep our lives moving. We should stop for a moment, do nothing, and rest in peace. Oh, we should rest. Pablo says, this huge silence might disturb the sadness. Which sadness? The sadness of never understanding ourselves, 
and of threatening ourselves with death. Fear of death. Perhaps, the earth can teach us, as when everything seems dead, and later proves to be alive. Now, I'll count up to twelve, and you keep quiet, and I will go. Pablo says, that the earth can teach us a lesson. When everything seems dead, it later proves to be alive. When trees are cut, it seems dead. But the earth regenerates, and proves to be alive. Even when everything is dead, the earth seems alive. In the same way, when we all are in hurry, which causes miseries and chaos, we can keep quiet, still. It will seem, like we are alive again. The poet says, he would count up to twelve. For that time, we'll keep quiet, and he will go. Means, he has conveyed his message, of keeping quiet, that is, doing nothing. In short, Pablo, through this poem, tells us to be still, to prevent miseries and troubles. For this, we have to introspect ourselves. Means, we have to look into own thoughts. <laughs>